what can really enhance the production process within a country, what, what sort of taxes needs to be controlled because we see uh, with, the growth, with the growth of only essentials being imported we would see certain policies being brought in uh, as in tariffs in, in general brought in for non-essential goods or complete ban on them. Does that sort of support the entire local production aspect within our country? Yes, so actually value added tax is a very principal tax, yeah. namely that uh, it does not depend on the amount of uh, uh, like sub areas or through which that production process has gone through. Right. So therefore that helps things like subcontracting and all that which is also essential in this country. Right. Right. It doesn't mean that if you are manufacturing something every single thing needs to be done within in-house. Yeah. Right. Whereas value added tax ensures that there is no uh, thing called tax on tax. Okay. Now the social security contribution levy and all that all would result in tax on tax. The alienation building tax also resulted in tax on tax. Right. Whereas value added tax, because of the principles on which it works, right? So the, the structure of that tax is sound. Okay. And also assists things like subcontracting and uh, getting other 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 smaller players also involved right. in your production process. So I think to that extent the tax is correct. Okay. But also there are some misunderstandings I think which should be clearly kept in mind. For example, I think currently there is a proposal that from the 1st of uh, October that there is going to be a reintroduction of VAT on condominiums. Right. So that VAT rate is now being spoken of at 12% or 15%, right. which is earlier zero. Okay. Now, does it actually mean that the price of a condominium would go up by 15%? Right. The answer to that is no. Okay. Because value added tax means that from the 1st of October, if something is liable to VAT or condominium sale is liable to VAT, there will be 15% theoretically which is collected from the customer. Okay. But however, just as the condominium developer becomes liable to VAT, right. he is also entitled to deduct all the what is called input credits of VAT. Okay. which his suppliers have charged on him. Okay, okay. Right? So therefore, what he was currently not entitled to deduct right. against his tax, now he's entitled to deduct. Okay. So because of that, his cost comes down. Because up to now, because he was not liable to that, that becomes part of his cost. Okay. So when the subcontractor or the contractor came and uh, did your building, you would have charged to VAT. Right. That was part of your cost. Right. Now here, going forward, that won't be part of your cost because you can deduct that okay. against the VAT which your consumer is paying for the apartment building. Right. Right. So because of that, the prices should not go up by 15%. Right. If at all, it will be a small amount. It will be maybe 5 or 10 or something like that. Right. Right. So because people don't fully understand that, I think uh, Various parties are also able to exploit that uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. lack of knowledge uh, to say, okay, everything will go up by 15% or something like that.